Okay, so let's take you through the start list. Michelle Lee Aihe, third in the Trinidadian Championship, still just a teenager. Osayomi, African champion over 100 metres in 2008 and last year. She's gone under 11 seconds this year. So too has Yvette Lalova. Laura Turner drawn outside those two quick girls. Fratelli of San Marino will go in lane five next to Laura Turner. And then Ines Troza of Colombia, Kubieva of Uzbekistan and Tay of the Cook Islands qualifying with 12.44, the 2010 Oceana Junior Champion, enjoying her second run on the track. But the big features here, Osayomi, under 11 seconds, such a big, powerful performer. Osayomi goes in two. Yvette Lalova in three. There is a glimpse of the Bulgarian. She's the fastest European in the world this year with that lightning quick 10.96, but can be erratic, but it's good to see her back from injury. Laura Turner is outside both of them in four, and she'll need her trademark fast start to get on terms here. First three to go through by rights, plus three fastest losers across the seven heats. 11.47 is the time required for a fastest loser spot, but Laura Turner will want to nail her place automatically by finishing in the first three. It's going to be tricky here, but she's got a really good chance. Stand up, ladies. Stand up, please. Starter not happy. You can hear the call. Stand up. And they've been... Well, they've been pretty uh, pretty solid here, making sure it all runs smoothly. So, I uh, hear Trinidad mark. in one, Osayomi Nigeria in two, Lalova Bulgaria in three, Turner, Great Britain in four, Pratelli of San Marino in five, Inistroza of Colombia in six, Kubieva of Uzbekistan in seven, and Tai of the Cook Islands in lane eight. Osayomi in two, Lalova in three, Laura Turner in four. Keep an eye out for the Colombian in six. She's quite quick, and I of Trinidad also goes well on the inside. 11.25 this season. Third heat of the women's 100 metres. Laura Turner needs to get away well, and she's done so. Also going well on the near side is Kubieva of Uzbekistan. Lalova and Osayomi coming through. Laura Turner's got some work to do. She's going to finish well outside the top three. Lalova takes it from Osayomi and I of Trinidad. And Laura Turner has finished outside the automatic qualification spots. She's in fourth. She's going to have to wait to see whether she goes through as a fastest loser. She did start well, but the class in the field came through on her inside, and then it all just started to tie up. I think it was a case at this moment in time, Yvette Lalova is just better than anybody else in that race. Um, the times coming into this championship prove that. She has run 10.96, but as predicted, Laura did have a very good start. We're getting the results through that she has been confirmed in fourth at a time of 11.45 seconds. So as you say, Rob, she will have to wait and see. Well, she's really. a very intense athlete, isn't she, Rob? Very intense, technically very good, but she's going to have a little bit of a wait now, isn't she, to see if that's good enough to qualify. And you know what? The standard of women's 100 metre running this year, I think she might just miss out. Uh, realistically... 11.45 is not going to be good enough. Remember, we have four more heats to come, and it's very unlikely that those times will not be passed. Here we go again. Could be Ava of Uzbekistan had a brilliant start in lane seven, and then Lalova in three and Osayomi in two started to pull away, and this is where Laura Turner began to fade. Aihi of uh, Trinidad also went well to get up in that trio. It was very close between Turner and Kubi Ava of Uzbekistan for the four spots. She got it by one one hundredth of a second. Pratelli of San Marino got a national record, but uh, this is the power. It's really good to see Lalova back. When an athlete, su an athlete that talented, suffers such a bad injury, it's just nice to see them back competing healthy. And it was a horrible injury as well. She actually broke her right femur while warming up to compete in a Grand Prix meeting in 2005. Sounds like an injury very similar to Great Britain's Karen Harewood indoors a few years ago, I remember, in Birmingham. A very, very big injury, very hard to come back from, let alone to come back at sub-11 form, which is truly world, world class. Totally different type of physique from some of the other athletes we've seen. Totally different to Osayomi in two. It's, it's all lean and it flows and it's smooth and it's lovely to watch. And she likes a bit of flirt with the camera as well, and why not? Because Elet Lalova has got herself through to the next round in fine style, 11-1-0. Osayomi, it was all power, 11-1-5. 
Ahi of Trinidad, a five hundredth of a second PB for her. Laura Turner's going to have to wait to see, but I'm afraid it looks very unlikely that the British woman is going to make it through to the next round.